Hey cats, it's Ed, AirPod Bud here. It's time for the show that everybody loves, everybody enjoys. Running shoe, yay or nay? Welcome back to the channel guys, thanks for tuning in, it's always appreciated. If you've never seen this show before, this isn't me saying that a shoe is great or it's terrible. I don't know until I've got it in hand. This is simply me saying whether I'm going to pick up a pair to review or not. It could be that another shoe tuber out there will give the shoe a better, fairer crack of the whip. Before we get to the four shoes in the yay or nay for today, make sure if you haven't done so already that you hit that subscribe button, but also click the bell below for notifications when I roll out the new videos for you. It helps the channel out a humongous amount too if you give this video a thumbs up like and also share it with your running buddies. Thanking you. Shoe number one. Whoa, this one's ringing all sorts of bells, but like good bells, not alarm bells, just nice sort of tinkling bells. Can you hear them? This Adidas shoe appears to be a new version of the popular Super Light SL model. I think they should call it the SLN, Super Light and Nimble. The Light Strike midsole material has been switched out though. I don't know if it's the whole midsole, but certainly we have the Light Strike Pro here. So a little less dense than the typical Light Strike stuff. And look at that highly perforated toe box and upper vamp. Whoa. This gives us something along the lines of a daily version of the Takumi Scent 8. But with some lacing variations a little bit like we've seen on the Prime X. And the outsole is certainly closer to that of the Adios 6. So it's a little bit like this special Adi Zero SL model takes from all of the other shoes and builds this ultimate shoe. I don't think we've got any energy rods or plates or anything here, so should keep the cost down a little bit. Adidas reckon it's going to be 120 Earth Credits UK. So the price is a little bit higher than the Adios 6, which is a bit strange. Maybe this is the three stripe brands model to compete with the Streak Fly. It does appear there's some type of torsional element on the outsole there, certainly visible. It's a very exciting move though from Adidas, placing their top line midsole material into one of their more budget orientated shoes. So it's going to come in a little bit under the streak fly, but it could be a really nice nimble model. If you like your shoes a little bit more airy. Could be good for the summer as well with all those perforations. Let a bit of that early evening air in there to keep the feet nice and cool. Absolutely dead sir, yay for the Adi Zero SL from Adidas. No idea when this is going to release and I'd like to say big ups to Richard for letting me know about this one. Thank you sir. These just fell on me, a load of boxes just sort of collapsed. I really need to get out in these very soon. Got them just before I got injured didn't I? Ow! Shoe 2. On running. Cloud Monster. People have been asking me for an absolute age to review an on-running shoe. Have we finally reached a point where there's one that's going to hit the spot for me? I think so. Check this beast out, the on-running Cloud Monster. Uses that Helion midsole material, I think, with the Cloud Tech construction. When I was driving home from work earlier, there was this guy talking about how he'd created clouds for a film using like gas and paint and stuff. It was really bizarre. I think it was a sign, guys. I think it was a sign. Aimed at road running for the medium to long distance sessions, this max cushioned monster clocks in at 150 Earth Credits UK. And there is a six mil drop. I think it would take a really great shoe to topple my favorite max cushioned one, which is that Primex. That one just hits the spot again and again it would be like treble 20 three times 180 eric bristow i love the purple upper on this one and it's perhaps one of the most striking on running models i've seen thus far just really intrigues me the shoe i looked at it and thought this one excites me the vu meter was you know going into the red which is you know i'm going to get the shoe possibly i'm really intrigued by on running's tech as well i haven't tested one out and people keep telling me to do it so i think now is the time let's be honest a shoe savant like me needs to try out all the different midsole tech there's so many questions that i want to ask this shoe you know, is it going to really hit the spot? Is it going to be really sort of squashy? Or is it going to be a little bit more firm? How thin is the upper going to be? And what will it smell like? Really quite excited about this one. A definite yay for the on-running cloud monster. I've picked it up in this Akai Aloe. 
As Asai, I don't know how you pronounce it, I'm sorry. If you know, let me know in the comments, phonetically. Definite yay, it's on the way to me now. Shoe three. This time we're talking about the Innovate Park Claw G280. A very interesting shoe, this one from Innovate. As somebody that lives in a more rural area, I really should get out there into the wilderness a little bit more. The majority of races and park runs around here are on multi-terrain surfaces and routes with lots of grass and some paths thrown in for good measure. As such, sometimes a full-on trail shoe is a bit of an overkill for some of these events. So the G280 Park Claw could really hit the spot. A higher heel drop in this one of eight millimeters over some of the other Innovate models that I've tried out. And apparently it's a slightly wider footbed as well in the mid to forefoot. There's a reasonable stack here as well compared to some other trail shoes. They can be a little bit lacking, I suppose, in cushion. Some of those React daily shoes that you get out there. This one's not all that different in terms of the midsole stack height. I'm really pleased as well to see that Innovate are sticking with those boomerang insoles. Guys, they are really worth checking out if you can get hold of a pair. I think they're made of TPUs, kind of like beads, I suppose, that are sort of melted together. A little bit like Boost or something you might see in the Endorphin series from Saucony and they were a real triumph in the G270 and the G300 from Innovate. Looks to be a bit of a traction terror this one. Look at all those protrusions. Innovate suggests there are 98 lugs underfoot. Reminds me of 96 tears by question mark and the Mysterians. I think that should furnish any runner with gratuitous grip while moving forward because that's what you do when you run. I think the G280 from Innovate's a definite yay for me to test out. I want to diversify into some more of the running events that are going on nearby to my home. This will be a great shoe to get me into some of those. Shoe 4. Oh my gosh, can we make it a clean sweep of yays on the show today? I'm not sure that's ever happened. I'm excited to see that Atreyu running are offering up a new model to their growing footwear arsenal. The Atreyu base trail looks like a tasty shoe and all. Only that early higher postage and shipping cost stopped me from picking up some of their shoes in the past, though the base trail may change all of that. I'm glad to see the super critical EVA from their artist model is here in the midsole, and it could make for a perhaps more durable and solid stable daily road offering too. Why not? A trail seem keen to state that this isn't just a trail shoe. You could probably use it to commute from perhaps road to trail and back and forth, perhaps similar to the park claw. Could easily fit into a road rotation. Doesn't have to be for those more rugged routes. I think they're going to be dropping for about $115 when they finally do release. Now, if I convert that to English Earth credits, it comes out at about £90, roughly. I imagine that will fluctuate a little bit. We're still very early in the design sort of production phase here of the shoe. Could make for a cost-effective offering with some more substantial rubber on the outsole there. The big takeaway from this, though, is that very minimal upper. Some trail shoes are just sort of overbuilt for me. They feel like I've got this huge layer of fabric and material around my foot that I just don't really need. Most of my trail routes aren't really that technical and I just don't need all that extra protection. As I say, this one may not be released until September 2022, at least that's what the company suggests themselves, but there's enough that's different about this shoe in terms of a trail offering for me to say it's a yay for the Atreyu base trail. There we go. Four out of four yays today. What do you make of these four today, guys? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. Musical interlude time. Guys, you know I love my 80s hip hop and electro. It's what I grew up on. It's what got me interested in music in the first place. I'll never forget Auntie Jean asking me to turn that rubbish off and put the White Cliffs of Dover on when I was DJing for her when I was eight years old. Today I've been listening to Doug E. Fresh and the Get Fresh crew. The show is such a great track, really big build up, those cheesy synths, you got the fresh scratching in there as well. What a classic scratch that is. Salt shaker percussion and really big beats that are backed up with some beatboxing too. Oh man, I wish I had a set of those track suits as well that they're modeling on the front cover. There's the bizarre little breakdown sections as well with the synthesizer. It's just so weird. Just everything about it is completely different to other hip hop tracks of the time and 
now if you just play it to people they'll wonder what on earth you're doing they think you've lost your mind you've got these really sort of over energetic sort of lines as well within the uh, lyrics i really like the flow as well of the words just brilliant stuff really reminds me of being a young chap trips to acorn music to try and find some new records and stuff that i'd saved up to get with my pocket money the show by doug e fresh and the get fresh crew actually do any of you remember get fresh the saturday morning program gas top and gilbert i think were they on there i distinctly remember the get fresh spaceship was in the town center here in yeovil at one point yeah can't remember what i had for breakfast yesterday but i remember that from like 30 years ago <laughs> thanks for tuning in guys it's always appreciated if you haven't done so yet hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications when we roll out the new stuff for you also give this video a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies my name's ed bud and i'll be seeing you